tomorrow, Martin. Yeah, today and tomorrow. I've already seen that humidity really piling in. But the thing is, is of course, it's Labor Day tomorrow, which is a big travel day. So I do want to go over a little bit of the travel for some of you. All so right. if you're going to be driving out, maybe you just didn't look at your future track over the next couple of days. Overall, it is going to be looking pretty good. This is Monday morning, clear conditions all throughout Michiana and the surrounding Midwest. Now, there's going to be a little bit of just some of that rain trying to push through as we head into that afternoon. But for the most part, we should be just pretty much steering clear of most of the rain. And even that rain, it does pop in across parts of Illinois and central to southern Indy. Uh, we're going to be looking at mainly just a couple showers, not really expecting anything that's going to make you pull to the side of the road. Now, as we look at the airport delays right now over South Bend International, we're doing pretty good. Yeah, it's toasty, but that's not exactly going to be stopping the airplanes from taking off. Only real major airport seeing any problems right now is Denver. They're seeing some thunderstorms in the vicinity. Everyone else looking at pretty much no delays as of right now. We're hoping it stays that way. Of course, don't want to be seeing any of those airport delays for a lot of your Labor Day. Back at home, temperatures again are very toasty here at Notre Dame around 90 degrees. Now we're getting a bit of a mix. The humidity is up, which is going to ag on that feel like temperature, but the wind is also decently strong, so that's actually going to be stopping that feel like temperature from really. So it's kind of canceling each other out right now. You usually get your windshield, your heat index, cancel those out, your temperature, your feel like temperature feels about what your actual thermometer is. So the rest of our day, we're going to notice those winds really calming down as we head into our overnight. And the big difference between today and tomorrow, the wind's not going to be as strong. Yeah, we might have some of those gusts, but the thing is, is these gusts that we're seeing today upwards to 25 tomorrow, yeah, up to 17, 15, yeah, not so much. Really not going to be helping us out. That's why it's going to feel so much warmer as we head into tomorrow. Our heat indices, yeah, they're getting up there. We could see those triple digit, triple digit heat indices as we get into that afternoon for your Labor Day. So best to probably head off to a body of water like the lake. It's going to be a good one. Beach forecast looking pretty good. Swim risk is sitting at low. The temperatures out toward the lake will be a little bit cooler. Water temps around 72 at this point in time. So Again, we're feeling pretty good out there toward the lake. It's definitely a best way to cool off is to jump right in the Lake Michigan, feeling pretty good with very low waves for tomorrow. But that humidity will be something we'll be having to deal with for both today and tomorrow. Luckily, as we get into that midweek, the humidity and temperatures both will begin to fall on that Wednesday and Thursday. So we will start to finally feel a little bit more like where we should be for September. But overall, it's still looking like a very warm next couple of days. Here's the day forecast again that Labor Day is looking to be on the warm side. We could see, you know, just a handful of little rain chances that Monday and Tuesday, but still it's going to be a warm next several days as we get into those temperatures, mainly sitting in the mid to low 90s. Again, with your heat, in, your heat index factored in, it's closer to those upper 90s across, especially that Labor Day. When you get into your Tuesday, yeah, it's going to fall off just a little bit, but humidity is still a big factor for that Tuesday. So not really until Wednesday with the rain chances coming in. High pressure finally escapes out of our area. We're going to notice a big drop off in those temperatures from Tuesday, Wednesday into Thursday. Overall, rain chances continue until about a Thursday before we finally calm down quite a bit. And actually temperatures feeling pretty good in those mid 70s as we get into that next weekend. So overall, it is going to be feeling like a really, really nice weekend next weekend. Overall, again, still seeing a lot of those rain chances getting out of the region as we head into Friday, Saturday and Sunday. They'll come back, though. Don't worry. 20% as we get into our next work week. That's a that five day work week, not looking at the four day week this week. But overall, again, still going to be feeling very good as we get into that Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday. Temperatures should stay down. We're hoping they do out of the 90s. Don't go anywhere. We're going to be talking more details about sports. We've got a lot of that coming in. And of course, giving you one last breakdown of that news. We'll be right back in just a few minutes.